good day to determine angle of minimum deviation for a given prism by plotting a graph between angle of incidence and the angle of deviation apparatus required drawing board a white sheet of paper prism drawing pins pencil scale office pins and the protract protractor theory the refractive index of the material of the prism is given by n which is equal to sin a plus d by 2 whole divided by sin a by 2 dm is the angle of minimum deviation and a is the angle of prism see the diagrammatical representation that we are going to perform this activity on the a4 sheet with the help of the prism for the various angle of incidence and we will get the various angle of deviation fix a white sheet of paper on the drawing board with the help of the drawing pin now draw a straight line that you can call it as a x x dash which is parallel to the length of the paper and keep the prism in the mid of the line and trace the outer surface of the prism now you can take the midpoint of the one face of the prism you may get nearly 5 that midpoint like you can take 2.5 and that is the normal for the incident tray Now keep the protractor on the normal line of the first face of the prism and mark appropriate any degree you can take it from 30 to 60. I'll take 40 degree. Now join the line. with the points and extend this incident line with the dotted line. Now you can choose two points on the incident tray. Incident tray value that is 40 degree we have taken. Now we placed two pins on the incident line. Now place the prism carefully on the same which we traced the outer surface. Now you have to see the incident line pin opposite face from the opposite face of the prism you may notice now from that side you have to prickle for the same position you can see that these four pins may be on the same line now you have to remove the pins
and mark the points which you have noticed remove prism also if you may join the line and also extend the line to the incident ray and here you have to take This is the emergent ray and this extended angle which you have seen this is dull or we can call it as dm that is minimum deviation. With the help of the protractor you may keep the protractor on this line. Now you may get the minimum deviation value as 40 for the incident ray 40. In that way you have to choose a different value for the incident ray and you will get the value for minimum deviation like you may choose 30, 35, 50 like the values for the angle of incidence you will get the angle of deviations like that observation angle of prism a which is equal to 60 degree angle of incidence and the angle of deviations which observed through the activity which we performed for example we done for 40 that we we got 40 and for 45, we got 43. Likewise, we got the angle of incidence, a different angle. We got the different values for the deviation. Now we plotted a graph between angle of incidence I and the angle of deviation D by taking angle of I along X axis, angle D along Y axis. The graph which you people are seeing on the screen. We got the value of angle of minimum deviation dm that is corresponding to the lowest point in the graph that is 40. With the help of this, we will do the calculation. Calculations, let the value of angle of minimum deviation we have taken from the graph dm which is equal to 40 degree angle of prism as we know 60 degree the formula refractive index of the prism n which is equal to sin a plus dm by 2 whole divided by sin a by 2 so we fetch the values sin 50 minus sin 30 that is we have taken a log so log sin 50 we got the value 0 0.7660 minus log sine 30 degree that is 0 0.5 so for log 0 0.7660 is we got the value 1 bar 0 0.8965 minus log 0 0.5 we got 1 bar 0 0.6890 we simplified we got the value of 0 0.1975 when we take the anti-log we got 1.5 the refractive index of the prism result id graph that indicates that as the angle of incidence increases the angle of deviation d first decreases in the times a minimum value dm and then it starts increasing for further increase in angle of incidence angle of minimum deviation dm which is equal to 40 degree refractive index of the material of the prism n which is equal to 1.5